and now following Governor Bello Matawali of Zamfara State's allegation that he and some other prominent Nigerians have evidence of corrupt practices against the chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Abdrashid Bauer. Civil society organizations have also raised alarm, insisting that Bauer can no longer continue to stay in office. According to them, the EFCC is an important agency in Nigeria established to rid the society of corruption with impunity and that it was not conceived as an agency meant to s for settling scores for political godfathers. Addressing the press yesterday in Abuja, the CSO said that officials who have been accused of gross misconduct ought to step aside while investigations are being conducted to ascertain the veracity of the allegations. The accusations of selective persecution, compromise of independence, Flooding of due process and even corruption need to be investigated so that Nigerians can be sure that the fight against corruption is being led by people who themselves are not corrupt. Only then can we truly move towards a corruption-free Nigeria where justice is served for all. The level of unprecedented incompetency, selfishness, greed and corruption in the commission as we are seen under the leadership of the Bawa has been a long-existing personal phenomenon which we are ready to crush and fight against. All patriotic Nigerians therefore call on the Inspector General of Police and the Department of the State Service to wade in and compel the FCC chairman to obey court orders. The police force, DSS and the NIA need to keep Bawa under close watch in a bid to truncate the plans of the EFCC chairman to evade arrest upon the inauguration of the incoming administration. The allegations against the EFCC boss has raised concerns regarding the integrity of the commission and its ability to effectively combat corruption in the country.